And greetings to you all. My name is Dr. Foxweed, and today we shall discuss another battle in the Iliad, this time between the Greek warrior Diomedes and the Trojan Aeneas. It is Book 5 of the Iliad, and the war between the Greeks and Trojans has resumed. The greatest man on the Greek side, Achilles, was sitting out the battle, but he had a worthy stand-in who could destroy many men. His name was Diomedes, the son of Tydeus, and he was a true force to be reckoned with. In this book and the next, Diomedes would go on a long and formidable rampage. The ancient Greeks would call this section of the poem the excellence of Diomedes, Aristea Diomedus. His battle technique is best described as relentless. Homer compares him to a raging river that has overflown and ravages fields. But like many warriors in Homer, Diomedes does not work alone, but has assistance from the gods. Entau tu de di, diome dei palas atene, doke menos kai tarsos, inek de los metapasin, ageoisi genoito, ideklios est loneroito. But again, Pallas Athena gave Diomedes, son of Tydeus, spirit and courage so that he would stand out among all the Greeks and win good fame. This protection from Athena allowed Diomedes to sometimes cheat death. During his Aristea, he was struck by an arrow from the Trojan Pandarus, but Athena quickly intervened, magically healing Diomedes. This infuriated Pandarus and his fellow Trojan Aeneas, so they raced towards Diomedes on the battlefield, lusting for his destruction. The battle would begin, although it was not evenly matched. Pandarus was already at a disadvantage because he was an archer and not suited for any other form of combat. On the other hand, it was true that Aeneas was a decent spearman and had the help of two gods, his mother Aphrodite and also Apollo. But nothing could compare to Diomedes in his prime. He was a terrifying power with his spear, and when he was on the attack, he was perhaps second only to Achilles. Given all this, Diomedes made short work of Pandarus. With Athena's help, his spear flew and cut deep down into his face. Aeneas was no coward though, and stood his ground by his fallen companion. But strong Diomedes had another weapon that he could throw. Or decermadion labakeiri. Two de des megarogon. Or u duogandre peroyen. Hoyoi nun brotoyes, hodemin bria palle kaioios. But son of Tydeus took a boulder in his hand, a great task which not even two men could now undertake, such are mortals nowadays, but with ease he lifted it by himself. Diomedes hurled the stone, and it struck Aeneas on the hip and shattered the socket, bringing the Trojan warrior near to death. But divine aid would come for Aeneas. With Aphrodite flying down to shield her son with her cloak, before carrying him away. Furious at this deed, Diomedes hunted Aphrodite with his spear and stabbed her in the palm of her hand, causing Ica, the blood of the gods, to flow. Aeneas fell from her arms, and it was only with Apollo's last minute intervention that Aeneas would avoid falling to his death. Victorious, but not entirely. Diomedes taunted the unwarlike Aphrodite as she nursed her wound. Eike, Dios Tugater, Polemu Kai De Iotetos. Withdraw from the battle and mortal struggle, daughter of Zeus. Such was the mortal and cosmic battle between Diomedes and Aeneas, the Trojan overlord. A class dismissed.